Hello everybody, my name is Christina Ng. I am a local food host here in Boston, Massachusetts for a show called East Meets Kitchen. And uh, today I am going to show you how to make a uh, Chinese style green bean condensed milk soup. So to start off, we are going to start off with um, about a half a cup of green beans. Now what you want to do the night before is you want to soak these green beans overnight because they are very um, hard and hard to cook afterwards. So soak these um, overnight. I actually in a pot in the back I have four cups of water to about the half a cup of green bean and I have that going for about an hour and a half. And you'll see that um, it's going to be ready when the beans start to kind of break apart because it should be a fairly uh, soft, at a fairly soft state. Okay? And then what we added to that is um, I added about a quarter cup of rock sugar. And then I wanted to show you guys because I actually put something uh, pretty cool in here. It's actually called sago which is a tapioca uh, ball starch. Okay, so what you do with this is the problem with tapioca, working with tapioca, is when you put it in soups and you have a tendency to you know, cook it for a long time, this has a tendency to get very gummy and it just melts right into the soup and you don't want to do that. You want it to maintain its integrity and in, in, in the chew of each um, starch. So what you do is I have a quarter cup of tapioca starch and what I did was I put it in um, with about a cup of water and then I cooked that for 10 minutes. Afterwards, I took a sieve, I took out all of the tapioca balls, and then I rinsed it under cold water just to stop the cooking. And then you can see right here that um, most of the uh, balls are still in a very nice state. It's not gummy, it's not too, too soft, and each of them um, is going to maintain a nice texture when you mix it in with the green beans. Okay. Okay, I'm back with my soup right now, and that's been going on for about an hour and a half. And definitely most of the beans have softened up and have broken apart. So I am going to add about a quarter cup of uh, my tapioca balls right in. And this is not going to cook uh, for that long because I don't want these uh, starched balls to get too, too soft. Okay. I'm going to bring it back up to a boil. But then right now I'm also going to put in a quarter cup of condensed milk. And this is a nice sweetening agent because um, it's going to provide that kind of nice creamy richness of milk but then also give it a little bit of uh, sweetness. And it'll change the texture of the soup a little bit. Okay. Just going to do that. Okay. Bring that back up to a boil and then once that is up to a boil I'm going to just hit this with about a half a cup of half and half and then that's going to just make it into a really nice creamy dessert. Okay so I'm going to shut this off right before it comes to a boil because because there's cream in here I don't want the mixture to separate too too much. Okay, And let's just take some of this out right now. It looks really good, very creamy. And then you have the green beans, which kind of color the milk just a little bit. A nice tinge of green. Okay. Looks good. All right, that's enough for me. And then I mean, there you have it. It's that simple. This soup is great because it's a lot richer than uh, typical Asian desserts, but it's also really nice because you have the creaminess from the milk and then also you have a really nice texture from the uh, tapioca balls and then also the green beans. So my name is Christina Ng. Hopefully you guys give this recipe a try. Thank you so much for watching.